The Moorhead Spuds soccer team traveled to the state tournament this week for just the second time since 2016. After finishing the regular season with a 9-4-2 record, they punched their ticket to state in a hard-fought double overtime battle that ended in a shootout in the sectional title game. They're in Ironton tonight for the quarterfinals, but the dream falls short. Duluth East took a two-goal lead before the Spuds countered on a Ben Colborn header. The Greyhounds with the final word as they advanced to the semifinals three. 3-1 over Moorhead. The North Dakota hockey team is preparing for a big road trip this weekend, but this time there's only one game on the schedule. UND facing Penn State in the Hockey Hall of Fame game. This year's game is in the Bridgestone Arena in Nashville, Tennessee. This is the first ever meeting between North Dakota and the Big Ten's Penn State. It'll be taking place in front of 17,000 fans, and if I know anything about UND hockey fans, it'll be a majority green on Saturday. UND head coach Brad Berry told us that while well, this Hall of Fame game is a special occasion, it isn't affecting their preparation at all. I don't think there's any added pressure. We have pressure every time we step on the ice as far as, you know, trying to do the things we have to do to win games. And, and for us, it's a non-conference game that, uh, that is big in the pairwise standings and that we, uh, that we want to prepare and focus accordingly. This isn't the first Hall of Fame game for North Dakota. They've had the honor of playing in it before when they defeated Minnesota in 2018 when the game was held in Las Vegas. Puck drops for this one at 7 p.m. on Saturday. North Dakota State head football coach Matt Enns has no intention of telling anyone who his starting quarterback will be this weekend and the program not making the quarterbacks available for us this week either. But I did have the chance to talk to senior offensive lineman Cordell Volson, who remained positive and encouraged as the team prepares for Saturday's game with Indiana State. A player like Volson won't give away any trade secrets, but he did remind me they had a quarterback battle all through fall camp and explained how that provided total confidence in this team in both these quarterbacks. He pointed out his continued message to the offensive line to the team is to stay the course and support whoever is under center on any given snap. We know both guys are, are capable of playing and who, whoever's back there, we believe in them. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm telling the guys, like, let's just rally around them. Wh whoever's, whoever's under center, let's just, you know, let them know that, that we believe in them. And, um, you know, let's, let's play ball. Also definitely worth noting tonight, the Minnesota Timberwolves beating the Milwaukee Bucks, the defending champs tonight. So a huge win for them. I know we don't always have time for the minutes, Minneapolis, right. Minnesota uh, national sports during the week, but congratulations to them and to the Wolves fans. That's an outstanding hard fought win for them. That is a big deal. And I agree with you. If the uh, decorations at the Grand Forks airport are any indication, I think those fans are just yeah. ready. Yeah. And they're coming yeah. from all over. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Brad Schlossman has been doing a really cool tracking of all the different players and or all the different fans and where they're coming from. He says there's a surprising huge group of fans from Georgia. Okay. Which is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love awesome. to see it. Thanks Beth. Still to come. Hutch